Let's convert the following floating point number into its decimal equivalent. The six leftmost bits represent the mantissa, the remaining four bits the exponent. So the first thing we're going to do is split it into the mantissa and the exponent. So first of all, I'm going to write down the, the mantissa. So that's 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So that's the first six bits. I'm going to put the implied point in there. And then I'm going to write down the exponent, which is 1, 1, 1, 0. So the first thing to look out for is, is to determine whether the numbers are positive or negative. So we know that the mantissa is positive because it's 0, 0.1, so that's positive. So we don't need to apply 2's complement to that. But we do need to apply 2's complement to the exponent because the leading most significant bit is 1. So we need to apply the 2's complement to that to actually flip all those bits. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to flip those bits, add 1, which actually gives us 0, 0, 1, 0, and the denary equivalent of that is 2. And we now need to move our implied point 2 bits to the left this time. So 2 bits to the left. So we're going to take our point and go 1, two so two hops so now our number is this 0 0.0011 and now we need to convert that into its decimal equivalent so that's going to be well if that's a half that's a quarter that's an eighth and that's a sixteenth so what we have here is one eighth plus a sixteenth which gives us three sixteenths now you can leave it in that fractional part if you like to or you can convert it into in, into the decimal value so that's 0 